Hey guys, Frank Fulcher here from RepulsiveReviews.com back again for a quick haul uh, unboxing quote unquote video. Uh, not much this week. I didn't really get too many things in the mail, but I did go to a store yesterday to pick up some stuff in person, so I wanted to show that off. But let's get into it. This will be a quick video this time. First, as you can see, I already sliced these things open. This actually came in for review from Artsploitation. These guys are always sending me some cool stuff. Uh, these are two of their newest ones, not out yet. They'll be out in March. But first up, the house. Um, looks like one of these Nazi zombie movies. You know, we don't get too many of them. The most recent, I guess, would be uh, Overlord, which was pretty great. I put a review up for that recently. Um, so yeah, Artsploitation always puts out good movies, man. They're always from, you know, this one's from Norway. They're from all over the world. And they're all usually pretty good. I don't can't remember the last time I got one that I didn't like. So that's cool. Next up, <clears throat> it's a movie from Greece. Do It Yourself, it's called. No Enter, No Escape. And uh, not really sure what this one's about either. But yeah, I'll be watching these two soon. This is from 2017. This is from 2016. So yeah, I'll be watching these two soon and getting up, you know, full reviews onto the site. Next up, got a few screener copies of movies from Arrow. Uh, I don't know. I think these are the only ones I got this week. Uh, last week I got a few, whatever. Uh, Sister Street Fighter. The, I guess there's a bunch of movies on those two discs collection, so... Which is funny, because you'll see up next what's in the actual goodie bag that I just showed two seconds ago. So this is from the Archive, which is actually the home of Vinegar Syndrome. They're in Bridgeport, Connecticut, which is about an hour from me. I'm in New York. Uh, so I went there yesterday. I go there pretty, not that often, but I have friends that live close by, maybe like 20 minutes from there in Connecticut, so... When I go visit them, I make sure we go take a trip because they like collecting vinyl and stuff. And those guys at the archive have vinyl, they have VHS tapes, they have all sorts of cool stuff. So I very obviously go there for the movies, Blu-rays. Usually I don't pick up DVDs in the wild. The only DVDs I get these days are really screener things that are only released on DVD. But anyway, <clears throat> got a bunch of stuff in this goodie bag. So first up, from Warner Archive Collection, uh, The Hunger. Starring David Bowie, Susan Sarandon, and Catherine De, De, De Nueve. Um, it's basically a vampire movie, from what I gather, even though they say that they don't use the term vampire in it at all. Um, but yeah, some posh, upper-class, sensual vampire story. So I'm excited about that one. Next up... Uh... Two actual releases from Vinegar Syndrome. So they sell in the archive, even though, you know, Vinegar Syndrome does the restorations and everything in that same building next door. The guys that sell in the archive part, you know, store, they were, they're all the workers and rest restorers and whatever of Vinegar Syndrome. So I meet those guys all the time. They sell other ones. Obviously, you see the Warner Archive and you'll see what's coming up next, but they obviously sell their own movies. So I got two more from them that I didn't have yet. Death Row Game Show, which I've heard is actually kind of bad, but the cover art alone, the name of the movie, it's all up my alley. So I'm excited to see this, even though people say it's not that great, but it looks fun. So Death Row Game Show was the first one, and then Corruption. I don't know much about this, but I recently was reminded that, I believe it's an Easter egg of some kind, on the you know main menu of the thing, whatever on the you know once you put the disc in whatever, uh, so you obviously have the movie Corruption, but the Easter egg is a restored version supposedly of Last House on Dead End Street. Uh, I guess they don't necessarily have the rights to it, so they can't sell a copy outright. But since they did this film that they do have the rights for by Roger Watkins, he also directed that film Last House on Dead End Street, so they put that in as a bonus. So. I mean, I'm excited. I heard this was actually really good, too. So, obviously, I got this for this. But, again, a big bonus is that uh, bonus film. So, there's two movies on there. Next up. <clears throat> got a bunch of Arrow stuff. 
Sixth Chord. I think this is one of the more recent Arrow releases. Uh, I got it because Franco Nero is in it, and I, he, you know, he's the original Django from, I think the original Django came out in the 60s. But, um, yeah, I'm excited to see this. I don't know much about it. I'm guessing it's just a Giallo with Franco Nero in it, so can't go wrong there. Fifth Chord. Next up. Sister Street Fighter Collection. What? Oh, yeah, I got the screener, you know, promo for it. But I had to have the real thing. The packaging, look, the artwork is sick. Uh, the packaging, you know, all these Arrow releases that come out, basically, I try to grab them as soon as possible now. Because if you saw my last video, I think it was the last one, I, you know, I picked up a Candyman. It's already out of print. So I had, you know, I had to pick it up on eBay. Luckily, I didn't pay too much. But, yeah, so all these new collections and all these special editions and limited editions i try to get them as soon as possible so i will be checking this out i will still be reviewing it on the site repulsivereviews.com within the next couple of weeks but at least now i can you know get the artwork and everything too next up this is the one i've wanted to get for a while like again it's pretty recent as far as the arrow releases and this is the big huge limited edition of Crimson Peak, uh, Guglielmo del Toro. I haven't seen this one, actually. I have a regular, regular version of the Blu-ray from when it came out a few years back. I never actually watched that copy that I got, but uh, if you're going to get a movie by Guglielmo del Toro, you have to watch it in the best way possible, at least in my opinion. So I figured this is the way to do it, Arrow's new release of it. So I'm going to pop that in within the next couple of days and give that a check out. And last but not least from my archive haul is the box set Between Night and Dawn, George A. Romero's films. Um, so they originally had it at $69 and they were selling it for $58. Funny thing about that is I actually had, so it comes with the crazy season of the witch and there's always vanilla. Um, and then it comes with a little booklet. So I've had those three i bought these three blu-rays separately previously because this supposedly was out of print um so you couldn't get the bo the booklet you know this hard slip case so i saw they had it on sale you know it's, it was on the counter as soon as you go in over there and it was the last one so i had to get it i'll probably just sell off my other three um single editions of these films and at least now i have the booklet and the case so yeah george a romero can't go wrong so awesome that I picked that up. So a little recap: Between Night and Dawn, three movies by George, Crimson Peak, Sister Street Fighter Collection, Fifth Chord, Corruption, Death Row Game Show, The Hunger, Arrow Screener, some art exploitation, The House, and Do It Yourself. So, small, smallish haul this week, guys. Uh, I did get a couple of email notifications of some other orders that shipped, but they just didn't make it in time for this video. I think I have a Severin movie coming. Um, the 88 Films order I put in recently. I did recently put in an order with Grindhouse Video in Florida and also Diabolic, so those should be coming this week. Just a bunch of random stuff that I've been missing out on the last couple of years or whatever, recent releases even. Um, so, yeah. That'll be in the next video. Uh, until then, I'm going to put some review links to the most recent write-ups that I've done. A new article that I did this week. I'll put those all in the description below. And if you guys want, man, hit me up in the comments. Obviously, give this video a like, a thumbs up. Share it. Subscribe to the channel. All that good YouTube stuff. So, until next time, guys, peace and be good.